Kilmainham Jail, Dublin, May 11th, 1916. My dear brothers and sisters, I sincerely hope that this letter will not come as a surprise to any of you, and above all, that none of you will worry over what I have to say. This is just a wee note to say that I've been tried by court martialed and sentenced to be shot, to die the death of a soldier. By the time this reaches you, I will, with God's mercy, have joined in heaven my poor father and mother, as well as my dear friends who have been shot during the week. They die like heroes, and with God's help, I will also throughout be as heroic as they did. You only wish you could see me now. I'm just as calm and collected as if I were talking to you all taking a walk to see McGrin or some of the old friends and neighbours around home. I feel happiness, the like of which I've never experienced in my life before, and a feeling that I could not describe. Surely when you know my state of mind, none of you will worry or lament my fate. No. You ought to envy me. The cause for which I die has been rebaptized during the week by the blood of good men as ever trod God's earth, and should I not feel justly proud to be numbered amongst them? For God, let me again assure you how proud and happy I feel. It is not for myself so much that I feel happy, but for the fact that Ireland alone has produced such men. Goodbye. Dear brothers and sisters, make no lament for me. Pray for my soul and feel a lasting pride at my death. I die that the Irish nation may live. God bless and guard you all. And may he have mercy on my soul. Yours is ever, Sean.